Hello, lovely riders. I wanted to chat about something today that I think is, is one of the biggest transformations, the biggest lessons that my riders end up learning, especially when we're talking about getting into flow and riderly flow. And one of those things, it may sound a bit kitschy, but it is about being where you are now. So the concept being, you know, we know this ideal that you sit down and riders write and they write every day. Except what we also know is that not every day looks the same or feels the same. And especially for uh, women and especially for women who are also uh, mothers, we find that our energy is splintered, right? And other things take priority. So as much as we'd like to sit down to the page of the computer and always have great output, even if we're willing to show up and write badly, that sometimes it's a real struggle to show up. And the reason I'm talking about this is because today, again, <laughs> my daughter is sick. And so this should be a work day for me. And I should be, do you hear what I'm saying already? I should, I should be doing this, I should be doing that. But the truth is, I have to show up with what this day has. And if I'm also honest, my own body isn't feeling as great and productive as it should. My, my mind, so I might be a little bit sick as well, but my mind is a little bit floaty and I don't have the concentration that I want. So I wanted to pass on something today that is something that you could do to still feel like you are moving closer to your end goal, but is honoring where you are at. Because flow comes from respecting where you're at. That means sometimes you're going to have a lot of output and other times you're going to have less output. So what do we do? Well, if you wake up and you find you're sick or um, family is, has got your um, attention sort of scattered or whatever. I mean, honestly, life is happening all the time, but <laughs> so we need to roll with it. But we also want to check in and make sure that we're doing the thing we need to do. Figure out what action you could take that feels aligned with wherever you're at. So if you are low energy, things that are writerly tasks are actually things like research, note taking, daydreaming, walking around, getting near water. I'm not joking. <laughs> All of these things are very important parts of the writerly process. And so isn't it a beautiful idea to take what you can do on the days that you're feeling at a low ebb or a lower energy and doing something that will help prepare you for a day when you feel really into it and full of your riderly energy and ready to get words on the page. There is no sense in you fighting what is. And sometimes what is, is we are sick or we're traveling or we're on holiday with our family and part of us might want to be doing our work, right? We had these ideas, we're going to go on holiday and I'm going to get all my writing done. Sometimes that's not the time to get all your writing done, but it is a brilliant time to ruminate or daydream or note take, or I'm just going to say it, eavesdrop on other people's conversations because they can be adding to your story. I want you to give yourself credit. So at the end of this, I would love it if you wanted to comment on some of the things that you've noticed yourself doing. Maybe you've been doing this without noticing and maybe you've um, stopped harassing yourself with I should be, I should be, I should be and you switch tack and you do something else. I'd love to know what do you do in your writerly practice when you're feeling at a low ebb and the words on the page aren't coming and instead you do another task. What are some of the things that work for you? I can't wait to hear from you. Until next time, bye.